It began more calmly than before, festive almost, an Istanbul mix of protest and party. But then the now nightly ritual, clashes between police and some demonstrators. Water cannon, tear gas and smoke grenades were fired. The protests still targeting the Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan. His authoritarian and Islamist agenda at odds with those demanding greater freedom and the protection of Turkey's secular order. While he visits North Africa, the Deputy Prime Minister has stepped in to try to calm tempers. Later this morning, he'll meet the environmentalists furious at plans to build on a park in Istanbul, the catalyst for the protest movement, and he offered some apologetic words. The use of excessive force shown against the people who initially started this protest with the motive of protecting the environment was wrong, and it was unfair. So I apologize to those citizens, but I do not think we need to apologize to those who create destruction of public property in the streets and who try to prevent the freedom of the people in the streets. The government is desperate to avoid more fatalities. Two men have died already since the demonstrations began. The second victim, a 22-year-old, shot during clashes, was buried yesterday. A dark moment amidst the turbulence. With the Prime Minister away, could his deputy now break the stalemate here? When the two sides meet, these protesters will want a tangible concession from him, a conciliatory move to show the government is listening. Perhaps that could ease the anger here. Turkey's worst unrest in decades shows little sign of abating, and nobody can tell where this anger will lead. Mark Lowen, BBC News, Istanbul.